so students as i told you earlier uh, in today's session we'll be working on the parametric curves in ideas nx this is ideas for the next session see what idea so uh, these are used for making functions of lines you are selecting this function of line here in the dialog opens and we have the option if you have some sort of calculations done in excel for some mathematical curves then you can include a data table so based upon and uh, the specific uh, x and y values you can have or x y and z values from the table you can generate a 2d or 3d curve and you can also bring in the data from a coordinate measuring machine you because that is uh, one of the ways by which we can do reverse engineering the data can also come from the probes like rainy shot as well as the optical scanner so anything that can provide you with an ascii file of the x y and z coordinates so that can be taken as input for the data table but uh, instead of uh, that discretized system we will be using the continuous functions in the form of algebraic equations so we will be starting with the simple functions and we will be quickly uh, switching over to more and more complex ones so as we uh, could see that you were able to visualize uh, the outcome that day so first we have to have a name so it should be suggestive of what the function is going to look like so let's say we intend to make a corrugated uh, sheet okay so we can have a sine wave function we can provide a description so so i can write supplying for corrugated sheet which is fine then this is the range of the parameter you by default it is from 0 to 1 if you wish you can make it larger but you have seen that it doesn't make any difference okay the output variable will be x y and z so this is the parameter space 0 to 1 and these are the output variables so we can type in x is equal to sin okay let's make it under into u not x Uh, this has to be y. Okay. If we type in x is equal to thousand into u, let's see what happens. So we can make it or type in hundred into u. It will z u may or may not specify as zero. Makes no difference. Let me do this. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here. And here we are getting the output. It is going from zero to hundred, and you are getting a sign here. Just refresh to make it look more accurate. Is this much clear? Yes. I'll change the view to 3D. Okay, now we'll start working uh, in both x and y. Uh, by default, this function is associated with uh, the equation, and in ideas, it follows a color scheme. If it is blue in color, that means it is associated. So that means we can modify this function, and it will open the corresponding equation. And here we can. Change the equations corresponding to x, y, and z. Okay, so x we make as cos u. So what do you expect to get? Horizontal. Okay, I am removing this multiplying bar and I'll make it smaller. Let's make it two into u. Okay, what do you expect to get? X is equal to cos theta, y is equal to sine theta. What's the expectation? Circle. Circle. It should be not a complete circle, but a circular arc because u will be treated. This this is the argument for the sine and cosine function. 
so it will be treated as if it is in radians so two radians is uh, approximately 115 degrees so likewise you will get a circular arc there it was a small circular arc uh, the radius should be how much one radius. radius should be one. one if the units are millimeter then it is of one millimeter radius right we can again click on modify and here you can type in some parameter instead of one okay let's say i want to make it 10 here again we wish to make it 10 okay now the radius has increased if you make it 100, it will just touch the borders of the square representation of the plane. So let's do that. We we'll make it 100 each. Okay. Now it's touching the border. It will stay to them. Instead of this two here, we can make it four. We can make it. Over here. Okay, what if we change one of these and we leave the other unchanged? Let's say I make both of them able to you know. Now this is more than one complete circle, but that will be overlapping. Okay, because the angle is more than two pi. Making other input comes other curtain, so kya bane? A quad can be equal charge when it is. What do you expect to get? Yes, any inputs? Any. Uh, we are not changing the radius, it's 100 in either case. If you can recall from our experiments last year on using the tuning forks and laser you will be able to relate. If you can recall, we had used uh, mirrors attached to tuning forks and we reflected laser light over two tuning forks, kept perpendicular to each other. Right? So what was the output? Infinity loop, uh, yes. This makes a missile just figure. Yes. If you wish, you can introduce a phase angle and the figure will appear to be rotated. We are introducing a phase angle. And the figure is rotated. Because it's a planar figure here, it appears as if it is rotated. It has turned by itself. Anyhow, we are not actually interested in making this other figure right now. So, the job is to make some lines for some sort of engineering application in the field of mechanical engineering. Okay, so we are back to the circle. Now, it's turning by around 16 radians, that means more than two complete rotations. So we can change this Z, we make it U. So it will change from zero to one very small uh, uh, axial uh, translation of around one millimeter. The effect would be perceivable at least, so it has gone up. We can make this pitch larger. Again, modify. We make it say ten times new. So this goes by distance of one centimeter. We can make it even larger. We can make it. 5 centimeters, 50 mm. Okay. Now, here is uh, another provision for you to introduce uh, other variables. You can specify R equal to 100. So, if in case you wish to change the radius, you have to make the change at only one place. So, you can just define the variable and then use it. That's it. Okay. 
then you can define the angle. A is equal to let us make it 50. And here instead of typing the value 16 or something, you just type in A because it has been defined previously, so it can be used. Okay. And you can also specify the length. So I won't recommend doing that much because what effort is going to be used anyhow. So it's going to be L into U. Okay, so we are getting something that looks like a certain helical thing. Now we can really play with this equation. If you have any sort of reactions coming to your mind, please share them and we'll implement them here. This radius you can make as a function of the parameter u. So you can make it, for example, 50 plus, say, uh, 20 into u. So when u is 0, radius will be 50. When u is 20, the radius, uh, sorry, when u is 1, the radius will be 70. So if you don't change z, then this will make a two-dimensional spiral. But here, this makes a helix with changing radius. For making a spiral, you just need to make z equal to zero instead of this expression negative spiral. Isn't that interesting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think of the applications of uh, this particular uh, function sometimes. Can think of some applications? Sir, induction coil. Pardon me? Induction coil. Okay, induction coil. Any other? You can just change the parameter and it will appear. Okay, now uh, if you wish to manipulate it further, you can do that. You can have separate variables for x and y. So I am using rx and ry. One of them is varying, the other one is the constant. So here we type rx, here we type ry. See how easy it is to modify the curve. Now one of the radii is changing, the other one is fixed. Uh, in this way, it looks like a separate with uniform radius. In this way, this is a separate with diverging radius. It's increasing as you go up. And this is the complete picture. Okay. You can make them both change in different styles. Here I make it 70 minus 50 into u. So one of them will be decreasing, the other will be decreasing. I don't know what application would be there in store for this kind of a thing, but uh, technology or in science, then they always go a step ahead than what is required in actual practice. My objective right now is just to uh, uh, spur your imagination so that you can begin thinking about various other possibilities. And in the meanwhile, you know, one of the most important applications of these function supplies is for generating mathematical curves such as in volume for making gear teeth. 
और बहुत प्रिसाइज तरीके से इन्वॉल्यूड गियर बना सकते हो वन सी मेक वन टू इट कैन बी मेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए सर्कुलर एरे आप फीचर की एरे बना के वो उसको आगे कॉपी करते जा सकते हो ओके नाउ वी डू सम मैनिपुलेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ जेड दिस इज एन इंटरव्यू Now you'll be getting a variable pitch. You might have seen this kind of settings. I mean, variable pitch settings, not this kind of, but variable pitch settings. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I don't want the turns to become too narrow. Or else we will not be able to have a sweep of a circle of this. Okay. I hope that we have this sufficient enough. Okay. Now once your supply is ready, whatever the form of your supply is. Once it is ready, it is time to convert it into a solid. Now, for that, what you have to do is you have to use the supply for making a reference curve. So, we select the option for drawing a reference curve. So, I select reference curve. I select this supply done. So it has been converted. Now you cannot change it. Now this is a reference curve, so you cannot change it anymore. Okay. So the next task is to draw a sketch plane, which is perpendicular to the supply, and preferably keep it at one of the endpoints. So, but because there is no such plane already defined, so we have to first of all put in a work plane. Our reference plane has to be drawn. Instead of picking a ready-made plane, we tell it to place it on a curve. It prompts me to select the curve. I select the curve. Now, as I move my mouse, you can see a plane is appearing. So we take it at the start point here and place it there. Now this plane is perpendicular to the curve at its starting point. The next job is to move the sketch plane to this reference plane. Done. Now here we're going to draw a small circle to serve as a cross section for this plane. You have to ensure that the wire diameter is not that large. Then the subsequent turns say that will be intersect. This is what we are going to do. We are going to do the same thing. Self intersecting solids are not allowed. Let's make it smaller. Then we can. And sweep operation. Pick path curve. Okay, select the path. Done. Change direction. And then we select this circle. Pick cross section curve. This is the cross section curve. Okay. Change options. Go to sweep options. Use cross section in place. Okay. Now again we select the cross section curve. Done. Let's see the preview. Yes. I hope it will be able to generate. So here comes your solid supreme in 3D. This path cannot be changed. But at the same time, you can 
change this cross section curve, you can go back to the history like in any other history here, modeling software. You can come back to the wireframe. You can edit this dimension instead of 2.5. I make it 3. Done. And then you can update. The wire has now become thicker. So this is the thing that I just wanted to show you. That is the application of parametric curves. If you have any queries, you are welcome to ask from my side on this particular topic. My job is over. Good morning, sir. Sir, ये है कि जी सीखी parametric curves तो ये सीखी जड़ी आपका previous topics तक इतना